Hey guys, welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Today I'm going to tell you about a really vibrantly colored fish from Myanmar, the Glow Light Danio or Celestichthys chopri. Now they haven't been in the hobby a super long time, but they're pretty readily available and just wait till you see their colors. For a small fish, they really pop. Let's take a look. Glow Light Rasboras get their name for a very good reason. These fish have only been in the country a short amount of time and you can already see the vivid coloration that they get. As they settle in, they'll get a stripe on their back that's even more bright. You can also see how good they are at schooling. These are a really fantastic fish for an aquarium that has a strong hardscape as their behavior is really predictable. They group very tightly, school very quickly, and are just fantastic, especially in that top third of the tank. They're one that I particularly like to put into planted aquariums with open areas because they'll utilize it. And, and a lot of that is because they come from small hill streams. So they're accustomed to a bit of water movement, though the water is very clear and there are areas of very slow moving water so they're pretty darn versatile in aquarium you can see I'm having a hard time keeping them um, in the camera here because they're such strong directional schoolers I really think this is a fish that benefits being kept in larger groups because the schooling behavior is really 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 impressive they only get about an inch and a quarter, can take temperatures from 60 to 78, and a wide range of pH from about 6 to about 8, so they can work in your harder water tanks as well. They can be a little nippy as well in small groups. Uh, generally, you'll get one dominant male, so it's good to have as many as you can. I would not certainly not keep less than six of this fish with eight to ten or more being a better idea. There are three similar species in the wild, though this is the one that is most commonly bred. Uh, mo the vast majority of them are farmed at this point. They're extremely easy to breed. I generally work with them outside, and in a few weeks here I'll be starting a series for you guys on container breeding fish on your deck or in your yard. These guys come from northern Myanmar, and they're also called Danio Chopre or Braco Danio Chopre most recently being reclassified to Celestichthys. Again, just a really vibrant, beautiful, breedable, gorgeous fish. You really won't be disappointed. They're very easy to feed as well, readily accepting any dried or frozen foods or even live. In the wild, they're more of an insectivore, but they are very undemanding in the aquarium. Females get noticeably rounder, and like most other cyprinids, they exhibit no parental care. Uh, they seem to spawn most often in the morning, and I like to keep them when I'm trying to spawn them in tanks that have quite a lot of floating cover as their fry seem to go up to the surface. Um, and they're pretty tiny. These are a fish that have only been in the hobby for about 10 years or so, so they're relatively new. But still pretty affordable and definitely worth keeping. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, nizjinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. As always, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there's any particular species or topics you would like for me to discuss.